Sometimes I wonder, am I good enough? God, I, I, can't, I can't do this forever. So if I was the enemy of God and I wanted to try to take down what God is doing and building his kingdom here, I would go after pastors. Because if I can take down a pastor, I could destroy that man, I could destroy his congregation and his family with one shot. I learned that my dad had been having an affair. It ended in a lot of pain. Our home was crumbling. It's real. Let, let none of us, Galatians 6, let none of us think that we too might not be tempted. So often as pastors, we're pastoring and pouring out our lives to others, but there rarely are people that are caring for us. Being a pastor has always been a wonderful calling, but it is a difficult occupation. It's become increasingly difficult today. Why is pastoral ministry so uniquely hard? Because it is inherently a call to die. A call to die a little bit every day for the sake of the flock. Practical Shepherding exists for just the regular, normal pastor. The last stats that I have seen is 85% of churches are 200 or less in the church. That is the normal average pastor, and that's who we try to care for. I appreciate the fact that Brian emphasizes shepherding. So much of our training has to do with preaching and leading, but not much focuses on really being a pastor of the flock. Well, coming out of seminary, you have so much theory in your mind about church ministry, pastoral ministry, but practical shepherding is true to its name because it's all bent on being very practical, tangible, helping you with the day-to-day -day work of being a shepherd. Practical shepherding serves pastors in a variety of different ways. You have one pastor who's just simply wore out from the grind of ministry because he's, he's carrying his own personal burdens, he's carrying the burdens of his whole congregation. That grind just wears any, any pastor out over time. A pastor's wife sees everything happening, but can't do a thing about it. But we also care for pastors who are in crisis, pastors who are deeply depressed. If we don't have healthy pastors, we won't have healthy churches. And if pastors aren't given the uh, tools to endure the hardships of ministry, then they'll drop out like the statistics show. My persevering in my current place is owing in part to God's grace through practical shepherding. To pastor pastors, you have to have a pastor's heart. Well, I think if you are sincere, there's a tremendous weight and pressure on the, on the pastor because on the one hand, you wanna direct people and get them to the promised land. And on the other hand, you realize you yourself fall short of what you ought to be. The desire being so strong to just give up, just to quit, just to go do something else. Why would I continue to put myself through this, my family through this? Um, is it worth it? Is anything actually coming from this? If, if it weren't for practical shepherding, I think a lot of guys would probably be out of ministry. I would be one of those guys. Uh, we will be more equipped to serve the sheep that Christ has given to us to care for if we ourselves are cared for. I think the global impact of practical shepherding gives evidence that this is a unique need um, that is not being met. Practical shepherding is vital because it brings the resources of ministry to uh, ordinary pastors all over the world. So I don't want pastors to just get by and survive. I want them to thrive. I want them to experience the joy that I believe is intended for pastors to experience, to be the under shepherds of the chief shepherd is what 1 Peter 5 describes it as. By the grace of God, our church is in a really healthy place. Uh, we, we care well for one another. Uh, the church loves the word. The church cares not only for each other, but for those outside in the community. One day you'll stand before Jesus and give an account of every person for whom you are called a shepherd. So when I think about who practical shepherding is or what they've done for me, and I think about the specific and very practical rubber meets the road type ministry challenges that they've helped me to overcome and to better care for my people in. Jesus has worked through practical shepherding to change my life and to keep me in ministry and to serve the Lord and his church. I'm so thankful.